Man, I love that. I just love the way the steering wheel adjusts. What's up, YouTube? It's Brandon. Uh, wanted to make another video. Been long overdue on this video, but wanted to talk about a couple of things on the GS. Very quickly, uh, not gonna make this too long. Hopefully, sometime when I get to talking, I just, I talk for a long time. But anyway, number one, hope everybody out there is doing good. The weather's getting a little warmer. Hope you all enjoying the beautiful weather. Hope you're enjoying life. Uh, I still love the GS. Still love it. Um, the car has really been uh, flawless for the age, the mileage. Um, it's hard to beat these cars. A couple of things I wanted to mention uh, that I have uh, a little bit of concern uh, with. And I'm going to try and make this quick again. I noticed that when I am braking at like, let's say braking at a traffic light and I get to a little dip in the road and I'm not tight on the steering wheel, the steering wheel just kind of moves, uh, you know, on its own. And uh, I know that that may be linked into the amount of assist that they have at lower speeds. I want you all to tell me if you experience that with your GS. For any of you that have a GS, uh, tell me if you experienced that. Uh, the second thing, I hit, I stay on Club Lexus. I'm always looking on Club Lexus in my uh, free time. And I have also read that there are some people with GSs, uh, in particular this um, generation, fourth generation, that sometimes when you get on the interstate with this car, it is hard to keep it centered. You know, it's just like it wants to wander constantly. And uh, I want to know if, I want to know how many of you all that come across my video uh, since we're talking about this, how many of you all notice that? Uh, there's sometimes I get in this car, I get on the interstate and it just seems like it's smooth sailing. And there's other times, and maybe it's a windier day, uh, maybe it's, it's the road condition, but it seems like I'm fighting constantly to keep it centered. And keep in mind, now, I've had my AVS shocks replaced on the front, and I've had suspension work done. So I am very curious on how many others have had uh, that issue. Another thing I'm going to tell you all that I notice is sometimes when the car gets on uneven sur uh, surfaces, I do get a little bit of popping from the ceiling area, and it's not the sunroof seal. I read on Club Lexus that some of you all have had uh, to replace the sunroof seal, the seal around the edge of the sunroof, but even with the sunroof open, I can still hear it creak and pop. Uh, it's not terribly bad. But this reminds me of a service bulletin that was on some of the Camrys uh, about the, the, the body. And the body seam uh, ends up flexing. Well, when the car flexes, it ends up popping. And I think the GS suffers from something similar to that. Uh, so that's another thing that I noticed. Uh, here's something else. Every once in a while, and I think that this is weather related, when I go into reverse, sometimes my backup camera is getting to where it will not show the picture of the, the of what's behind me. And I noticed that last summer, it seemed like the weather really affected that. It seems like sometimes you go in reverse, I just get a black screen. And... I, you know, first thought was just to replace the camera. And I have a feeling that it's not just the camera. I got a feeling this is wire related because I've seen on Club Lexus, some people are having radio issues that are intermittent that also kind of have to do with the temperature. So if any of you all have any kind of uh, advice or if you have any experience on that issue, uh, I would be uh, very happy to try and hear about that. Because during the winter, no issues whatsoever uh, when the weather was cooler. But I noticed it seems like under warmer weather, 
that's when I'm going in reverse. And what this thing will do is sometimes the backup camera picture will be a little fuzzy. You can see it kind of blinking in and out. And uh, there are times when it doesn't show anything. And I may cycle the car off and back on and uh, it may not show up. And it's just kind of iffy. Uh, it decides to come back on when it wants to come on and eventually to do the, do the uh, same thing. So I'm curious to know if any of you are uh, all are having that issue uh, with it, with your GS. And uh, other than that, that's about the only thing I can think of. Those are the couple of little issues that I've noticed. Everything else on the car works and it works well. The car has good power. Uh, the braking is good. Love to, to put the GSF brakes on it, but as you all know, based off of past videos, I'm just not sure about the, the rim uh, changing wheels out. Um, probably not going to do that. So uh, more than likely, I just have to keep the factory brakes and rotors. Everybody says with well, a Lexus, keep factory brake pads, keep factory rotors don't do anything different and uh, more than likely that's what i'm gonna do is just keep it factory uh don't really have a lot of plans for this car i'm gonna tell you all man i've really been thinking about uh just keeping everything simple keeping the car maintained keeping my bills paid good trying not to get into a lot of debt you know a lot of people out there include myself uh, have gone out there and thrown that card out when you want something and that's just not the way to purchase You know, you save up your money and uh, if you want something you just you you pay cash for it and as I age I'm learning about that and uh, You know get my debt and check credit has always been excellent I just been the one to throw that card out there too soon and that's not good so I'm getting myself together that's the reason why the GS is just, you know, moving at a snail's pace. But uh, I'm taking good care of the car, keeping everything maintained, keeping it clean. And uh, as repairs are needed, it, it, you know, I'm jumping on it. You know, as soon as I figure out something is wrong with it, uh, I jump on it and I'll go ahead and repair it. So anyway, this has been a little bit longer than the, the normal videos and I'm doing this on an iPhone. I'm not a big YouTuber. So uh, I just wanted to talk to you all and uh, just share the realistic experiences that I have with my GS. Um, overall, the car has been excellent. And I don't have any major complaints. But I did want to talk about some of the concerns that I've had with the car and uh, throw that out there and just see what, what you all think about it and uh, just kind of go from there. So uh, anyway, shout out to uh, everybody who's on my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you, anybody who's uh, given me any kind of positivity. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, as time goes on, I'll probably get better equipment. I'll make more videos. I'll do more to the car. But for right now, I'm keeping it simple and uh just kind of keeping it real man and just uh trying to talk to you all and see what's what so uh anyway much love to all of you all out there and i appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos peace out and we'll do this thing again soon